hello welcome to this video it's leonard here from digitalenard.com and in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade margins with the oks exchange so this video is going to be about margin trading using the oks exchange and oks is one of the largest crypto exchange out there that you can use to trade all sort of um, cryptocurrencies uh, you know pairs and so on that you can ever think of you can carry out p2p trading you can carry out sport you can carry out features and then margins which i'll be showing you in this video and the reason for this video is that when it comes to margin trading with the oks exchange it is a bit different from what you actually know if you know what margin trading is all about it's a bit different and just to show you more about oks if i go to coin market cap if you want to know any crypto according to their ranking you go to coin market cap if i come in here to exchanges and i want to check any particular exchange according to the type of trading in this case a derivative because margin trading is under derivatives you see that oks is ranking number two on the coin market cap um, um ranking page here but telling you that oks is one of the trusted exchange out there that you can use to carry out all sort of trading and as i said earlier this video is going to be focused on margin trading so if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and equally share it with others that way you encourage me to create more free content for this channel so here on the oks exchange what we want to do is um before i go further if you don't have an account with OKS already then link will be in the video description to actually sign off an account and when you sign off an account as a new user you stand a chance of you know completing some tags and getting free crypto with the oks exchange so once to assess the margin trading option i'll come in here to trade and before i say that i want to just let us know that when it comes to you know having wallet unlike other exchange oks has only two wallets you have your funding wallet and then you have your trading wallet whatever you have on your trading wallet can serve for your spot trading your margin trading your features trading all in one wallet you don't need to be transferring funds up and down let's say from your spot to your features or from features to margin and so on if you have funds on your trading account that serves for every other type of trade that you want to carry out on the oks platform so if i come in here i'll go ahead and click on any of these you click will take you to the same page um, the same trading interface whether the basic trading or the margin trading and um, just click on any of these it will take you to the same interface it is when you want to trade a particular coin you can choose if you want to trade features if you want to trade sports if you want to trade margins and so on but before i go further in showing you what to trade here what is margin trading for those of you who don't have an idea already what margin crypto margin trading is all about when it comes to spot trading you need to have funds in your account to buy a particular asset and then sell that asset when the price increases um, in profit then when it comes to margin trading with little amount of money in your account you can borrow money from a particular exchange in this case the OKS exchange so you borrow money from the exchange to buy more coin or more tokens and then when you sell that token in profit whatever the profit is you keep part of the profit and then imagine there is charges actually for borrowing money so you pay back whatever you borrowed on the OKS exchange and you know uh, whatever is left for you becomes your own profit so the a, a, a typical example would be if you have a thousand dollars and then you want to trade in this case slp usdt so a thousand dollars will buy some quantity of slp for you and then maybe after selling it or maybe when it increases by one percent or 0.5 percent you would have made let's say twenty dollars out of it so in this case with that one thousand dollars that you have you can borrow more money with the oks exchange as a margin trader you can borrow more money Instead of making $20 in your profit, you would have made, let's say, $1,000, $2,000 because you now have more funds to trade that particular asset. At the end of the day, you pay back the money you borrowed with the interest and then the remaining one becomes your own money. So that is basically how it works. And here on the OKS, as I said earlier, um, trading margins on the OKS exchange is a bit different. And that is exactly what I'll be showing you how to do. So once you come in here to the trading interface, what you want to do is first, 
you want to go and select make sure that where you see manual trading here you are on the manual trading option if it is on the trading board just make sure you change it to the manual trading option here and then the next thing this is where you select the particular pair you want to trade so the same thing i'm showing you here you can do it if you are using the mobile app so it is the same thing it, there are no difference about it so once you come in here to where you select your asset you go ahead and select your asset and here you see that i have um, a tab for spot if i want to trade spot i'll just select any of these tokens that i select under the spot it means that i'm trading spot so with the OKS exchange all types of trading are done on one interface if you want to trade spot if you want to trade perpetual if you want to trade features margin options all of them are done on one interface so it is at the point of selecting the token that you want to trade that you need to select the particular style of trading you want to carry out so in this case if i select any token here it means that i'm going to carry a spot trading if i want to trade perpetual i come in here to the perpetual tab and click on it now in your own case if you are not having these tabs where you say you see favorite spot um, features margin and the rest make sure that you toggle this um, um, group by, by group crypto so um group by crypto just make sure you toggle this for instance if i toggle this on now it will change everything now you now see that it is by you know all of these different networks that you see here so if i toggle it back you will now see it according to you know the um um this is by according to crypto and then if i want to toggle it by instrument i just go ahead so you see the spot instrument perpetual instrument features instrument margin instrument option instrument and it goes on that way so since our focus is on trading margins we will need to first search for the token we want to trade in this case i want to trade slp so i'll go ahead and choose slp and then once i type in slp here i want to make sure that i come in here to the margin option here and click on it so i'll click on margin because all here is showing both for spot and um, perpetual and margin so here the first one here is spot the second one here is perpetual and then the last one here is actually margin so i can click here to take me to the margin trading interface or i can click here and then select that particular token that i just um type in there so i'll go ahead and select it slp and then with the slp the highest we can go is actually the highest leverage you can go is 5x if i come in here and i go to the margin tab you see that some of these assets here like bitcoin is 10x ethereum is 10x um okb is 10x litecoin is 10x some of these coins um at you know 5x and the rest so the one i just selected right now which is the slp usdt the highest you can go is three um actually five x so you can click here to increase the leverage to the five x you can go ahead and increase that and then you know, OKS is telling you that your leverage is high based on the balance you have on your account actually this will be complaining so you can go with the 3x or go with the um, 5x and the rest go ahead and click on confirm and then confirm that um action now the next thing you want to do is here what well, this is why i say this is a bit different from any other margin trading that you know of here is where you will now select isolated the type of margin you want to trade if it is isolated or cross you go ahead and select it now the difference between this when it comes to margin trading is that now that is isolated you see here that um, slp margin is disabled the only thing i can change is only the leverage now because it is slp if i'm trading isolated if i want to long the market by buying you know here you can buy long if i want to long the market by buying you will need this asset since it's slp usd i want to trade it means that if i'm buying i need the asset itself which is the slp token then if i'm selling i can use usdt so if I'm using isolated and I only have USDT on my account, I cannot long the market. I can't buy the market. I can't long this market, this particular market that you're looking at. So if it is only USDT I have, I can only short the market when it comes to margin trading with OKS. So if I want to long the market, it means that I will need to have this SLP token in my account to be able to long the market. Um, I have SLP here already. That is why this can work let me just demonstrate that with another let me go to bitcoin for instance 
so here on the bitcoin tab um and we are here we are on the isolated margin and then we are selecting 5x and then on the buy tab here if i want to go ahead and buy you see that i need to have btc as you see here, it said available margin is uh, 000 btc but if i come to the sell tab i do have usdt if i come to the sell tab i can actually short this market by just using the usdt that i have here meaning that if i go on and slide this i am actually using the usdt to short the market so on the oks margin trading you don't really need to buy this asset and hold you don't need to buy any of this asset and keep to yourself so you can just just like you trade features you can long the market by just borrowing funds and then short the market by equally borrowing funds so that is what happened so if i want to buy uh, with this particular asset i need to have the asset that i want to like btc i need to have btc to be able to long this so since i have some slp i'm going to use slp to demonstrate that so i'll go ahead and type slp again and then here on the margin tab i can go ahead and select the slp and that will be selected now that i have some slp here here you see i have slp so if i go ahead and long this market it will actually work for me and automatically if i select 50 percent of the funds that i have here for instance which um uh, you see here the funds that i have this is the available funds um slp that i have here so if i want to use 50 percent of this automatically you will see where it says borrowing so automatically based on the money that you have on your account kucoin will automatically borrow you some of this in money you'll be borrowing some of this um tokens from the kucoin account to actually long the market so if i use 100 percent of what i have here which is this 14,000 slp that i have here um it's going to cost me a total of 1500 usdt and i'm going to be borrowing about 1 million um of usdt here or thereabout so once i go ahead and long this market here another thing i can do here is i can use this take profit option so if i'm using the limit order here and i go ahead and enter at the let's say when this gets to um 0 0.032 that is when we want to long the market let's go ahead then we'll select the number of this thing we want to actually long the number of the use hundred percent of our funds if i come in here to take profit and remember this is where we want to enter the market and then we want to take profit when it gets to 0 0.035 so this is what i'm going to put if the market increases i'm going to long this borrowing this amount of money this um all of this borrowing that you're seeing here let me use 100 percent again so we are going to borrow this we are borrowing about a thousand five hundred usdt from the um oks this is what we are borrowing actually and then we are using all of this slp you are seeing here so if i come in here to the take profit and i want to take profit at 0 0.035 it means that i am expected to make a profit of 4000 usdt slp okay 4000 slp because i'm trading with the slp this is how much i'll be making this is the number of F slp that i will be making added to the slp i have already so when i'm longing the market with a particular asset that i'm using i am going to earn in that particular asset now if i want to change this asset let's say i don't have any of this token and i want to use only usdt i'll go back again to this particular selection option here go to the margin and then let's say we want to do ethereum this time around so if i select ethereum i don't have as you can see here i don't have the only thing i have here um now i will change it from cross to isolated uh, let me just show you this because i'm using the isolated option i needed to have some ethereum to be able to long this market so um i don't have ethereum but i can go ahead and short the market by just coming here and when i come to the short option here let's say i want to enter at the exact price right now ethereum is at this um, um 4, plus so if i go ahead and use the whole funds that i have here which is usdt and short this market so if i use that it means that what i'm borrowing right here is around uh, um, 0 0.5 ethereum that is what i am borrowing right here and it is going to cost me 2100 usdt as against the 400 usdt that i have here so i'm borrowing this amount of ethereum 
and in this case i'll go ahead and put my take profit remember that we are shorting the market it means that we can only make profit when the price of ethereum actually reduces from four thousand pounds so if we want to take profit here we are going to use a lower amount so it means that we are predicting that the market will go down on this margin option here with the OKS um, exchange. We are predicting that the market will go down. So in this case, if I say this market will go to 3000 before I can actually sell this. Um, here you see OKS letting us know that we are going to take profit when the price of Ethereum reaches $3,000 or $3,000 USDT. And it is expected to earn a profit of about $500 44 usdt for us so if the price of ethereum actually gets down to this we are going to be making this now if i reduce the leverage here if i reduce the leverage remember with ethereum we can go to 10x with this 5x this is what we can make this is what we can borrow so if i go to 10x for instance and i go ahead and confirm this once i confirm this and i'm going to use the same um, amount enter the same price so this time around because i have increased the leverage we are going to be borrowing about 1.044 ethereum from the kucoin exchange so we are borrowing this amount of money to actually trade this and that is going to cost us a total of about 4200 and then remember we only have 422 years so we are going to borrow this uh, amount of money and then if you come in here to take profit if ethereum drops to three thousand then we'll be making profit of about a thousand plus so the higher the leverage the more um, borrowing power you have and then the more profit you make remember that the uh, faster you equally lose your money if this doesn't go in our favor actually if this doesn't go in our favor but another thing you should note here is if i come in here and change from isolated to cross it means that both on the buy tab and on the sell tab i can actually use on the sell tab i will only sell if i have um ethereum on my account but on the buy tab i can long the market with my usdt so if ethereum is at this particular price right now and i want to actually use the 100 percent of the funds i have here and i'm using 5s here so i'm going to be borrowing about 2000 plus so this is the total of what is costing me if i go ahead and take profit it means that i want to take profit let's say we are predicting that ethereum will get to five thousand dollars so if i go ahead and put five thousand if this actually hit our target we are going to be making this amount of money with whatever balance we have just longing the market so that is basically how simple it is with the OKS margin trading you don't really need to own this asset you don't really need to buy and keep the asset you just spread the market and whenever the price hit that target actually you are going to be making um, profit whenever your predictions are right for instance if i want to make take profit let's say when ethereum gets let me be do something that is a bit realistic here let's say 4200 so with 4200 i'll be making about 82 usdt um, with just this amount of money that i have in this case i'm still borrowing this amount using 5x leverage so that is basically what it means now to go through this again when you use isolated it means that you can only long the market when you have that particular asset you want to trade in this case when you have ethereum but you can short the market with your usdt if you are using cross you can long the market with your usdt and then short the market with your token either your ethereum token or any other token that you have so that is basically what this cross and isolated simply means here and some of these tokens when you come in here to the margin option some of them are 10x um, leverage some are just 5x leverage so this is basically the, the simple way of actually doing this and if you want to know more about the rules um, actually here you see margin trading rules on the OKS you can equally use the calculator here to calculate you know to get um, an idea of what you should be making when you long the market with five years and borrowing funds and the rest then the margin rules there you come in here to see this margin rules and here on the margin rules we have simple currency cross margin and then we have multiple currency cross margin to be able to switch from simple currency cross margin to the multiple currency cross margin you scroll up here and come in here to the setting option 
and before you can switch from the simple currency to the multiple currency there is a, a you need to have a, a, a thing on the multiple currency you need to have 50,000 USDT in your account and then on the portfolio margin you need to have a hundred thousand USDT in your account before you can switch to any of this um, portfolio that is one thing you should equally note here using the setting icon somewhere around here so once um if i want to buy this i just go ahead and click on buy long and it will give you a summary of what you are buying you are entering the price at this and then the amount you are borrowing is this and you're using cross limit and then you take profit when it gets to 4200 and so on so you just go ahead and click on confirm and that order will be placed and you'll be seeing it once the order is placed you'll be seeing it down here and once your target is hit automatically the funds you borrow will be repaid to okx and then the profit is returned to your account the profit and your own funds is returned back to your account then automatically your your payment is um, your borrowed funds is being repaid to the OKS exchange so that is all i just have um, a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually use the OKS margin um, trading option and if you have any question if there is anything you are not clear with you can use the comment section and once again if you don't have an account with OKS exchange link will be in the video description to sign up for an account if you want to learn more and join our daily zoom meetings about crypto trading and other investment option on the crypto space then link to join our telegram group will equally be in the video description once again if you are new to this channel consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and i'll see you in the next video